So these are all the utilities that I have. I'll go over each one and explain what they do in more detail. Better snap tool is basically the same as rectangle and it adds snapping to windows in macOS. So if I open Safari, I can take its window and just move it to the right and it just snaps there, move it to the top, also snaps to the left and so on. Next up is Drop Zone or Yoink because they do pretty much the same thing. If you work with a lot of files and you often move folders from one place to another, this app is a lifesaver. So we have a folder and if I move it closer to the edge of my screen, you'll notice this little shelf up here. I can just put the folder here and when I'm in another app or another place, I can just take it from this shelf and move it into that app. So it makes it very fast. And since I edit a lot of videos, this is very useful for Premiere Pro since it takes up the whole screen all the time. Next utility is Bartender and the only thing it does is it hides menu bar icons. I have a bunch of useless apps here and Bartender just lets me hide them. This app costs money though and I think there's another one called Vanilla which does the exact same thing but for free. The next utility is Mackie and it just saves my clipboard history. So if I open text edit and press command shift V, you'll see that here's a list of all the things I have copied and I can, for example, say YouTube, Facebook, copy the word YouTube and then copy the word Facebook and then delete both. I can paste both of them from my clipboard history, even though I've copied them separately. So that's also pretty useful. Keycaster lets me record my mouse clicks. As you can see now, when I tap with my mouse, there's this thing around my mouse. And it also shows keyboard shortcuts that I press on the screen. Command M, W, T, you can see it's right here. It's good for YouTube videos and recordings. Now middle is probably the best app out of all of these and it adds a middle click to my trackpad. For example, if I'm in Safari and I have multiple tabs open, I don't have to click this tiny X icon to close the tab. I can hover over the tab and press with three fingers on my trackpad, which will close that tab. It's also useful for opening links in new tabs. So if I'm trying to watch YouTube videos and I want the video to go in a new tab, I can click on it with three fingers and that video will open in a new tab. The next utility is SIP and it's a color picker. So if I press command shift, no, Control shift C, I get this color picker on my desktop, which lets me get the hex code of a particular color. It's very useful for stealing colors from other YouTube thumbnails that I put in my YouTube thumbnails. Then we have this app, which is self-explanatory. Then we have this utility called Disk Drill, and I've used it only once to figure out why other storage was taking up so much space on my newly purchased MacBook. Then there are these two apps. I'm not really sure what they do exactly, but what they allow me to do is remap my caps lock key to the backwards slash. That's the only thing I use these two apps for. Then we have VLC, obviously the best media player in the game. Alfred, which replaces Spotlight, so text edit. I've been using Alfred this whole video to find things on my computer. You can also use Spotlight if you click F4, so you don't really lose out Spotlight if you install Alfred, as most people think. I use Alfred with command space and Spotlight with F4. The next utilities are actually three utilities that do the same thing, which are sensible side buttons, which add side buttons to my mouse that they work. So if I press this button, it goes backwards in my browser and this one goes forwards in my browser. Then linear mouse removes the annoying mouse acceleration if you don't have an Apple mouse. And Mac mouse fix adds a middle click to my scroll wheel. So the same as tapping with three fingers on the track pad by clicking the scroll wheel on my mouse. Swish is an app that I've installed and never used. It basically lets you resize windows but with 
swiping gestures on your trackpad. So if you swipe outwards on the title bar of an app, it maximizes it. And then if you do the same, it will minimize it. I think if you swipe with two fingers, it's going to minimize it. And then if you swipe upwards, it's going to maximize it. There's a way to close apps too by swiping on the trackpad somehow, but I don't remember. The next utility is Shotter, and in fact, I made an entirely separate video about this thing. So normally, you take screenshots with Command Shift 4, and you get this preview window here. But with Shotter, you take screenshots with Command Shift 2, and then you get this preview window. If you press Enter, you can edit the screenshot like this. It has nicer arrows, blurring rectangles, and so on. Then we have image optim. This basically lets me take a screenshot, for example, and if I need to upload it to the internet, I can right click and say image optimize, and it basically reduces the file size of the image. So before it was three megabytes, now it's two megabytes, and the visual quality of the image doesn't change whatsoever. So that's pretty useful for saving file size. Then we have one switch, and this is also a pretty useful utility. It lives in the menu bar here, and it lets you do things by just flicking a switch. If I want to turn on night shift, I just flick the switch and night shift is on. If I want to keep my computer awake for 30 minutes or maybe two hours, I can also do that from the menu bar. It has some useful things like muting microphone, low power mode, and hiding desktop icons. Sometimes I use it for screen recordings. Then we have Better Touch tool, which allows you to add different gestures to your Magic Trackpad. It's also a paid tool, and unfortunately, I don't use it anymore because the only custom trackpad gesture I need is the middle click, and the middle app does that for me. Then there's Mission Control Plus, and this one is also very useful. So if I just make a few babies of Safari windows and I open Mission Control, you'll notice that there's this little X icon here. So this app basically lets me close windows from within Mission Control, whereas without it, you can't close windows from Mission Control, which is stupid. And finally, there's monitor control, which lets you control brightness of external monitors without much trouble. If I had an external monitor connected, I would just be able to press either of these buttons here and it would increase or decrease the brightness of the external monitor and not this monitor. And since I know you're gonna look for more cool software to install because it's addictive, I left a video with more than 100 Mac apps compiled into one single video in the description, which is right below the like button. And I guarantee it will satisfy all the cravings. I hope this was helpful to someone out there and I'll see you in the next one.